detailed drawing ever of Kang. How detailed can I draw Kang in 10 hours? We are going to find out in three, two, one, let's go. Hi, I'm Jason the Box Office Artist and I recently I got the opportunity to go to the Canadian premiere of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. As you can see, I'm wearing a shirt here. They got me a cool shirt and a huge thank you to my friend uh, Charlotte who uh, invited me to this event. Charlotte brought me on my press tour when I did the original Infinity War mural. She brought me around to all of the different news outlets. It was a lot of fun. And Marvel Studios Canada, they invited me so I could go and watch Quantumania with my family. And it was a lot of fun. It's always interesting when you're watching a movie two weeks before everyone else did. First of all, they locked up my phone, which is why I have no video. <laughs> what can I do? No video. But I do have a few pictures here and there. So the Canadian premiere was a lot of fun. Uh, I got to take this very cool uh, green screen picture here. The actress, Catherine, who plays Cassie, she was there to hype up the crowd. It was a lot of fun. So I enjoyed the movie a lot, and I really, really love Kang, the portrayal of Kang, and when you guys find out what's going on with Kang, Oh. Wow. <laughs> so I wanted to draw Kang. Now looking at Kang's outfit here, there's a lot of unnecessary detail on it. <laughs> a lot of lines here that maybe don't necessarily need to be here. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do a most detailed drawing ever. So I'm allowing myself 10 hours. I just want to see how much detail I could get into this. So already started drawing Kang, already so complex. First of all, I'm using uh, Micron pens. I'm using an 05, uh, sometimes an 01 for the smaller itty bitty details. Drawing on uh, Strathmore Bristol board, two 11 by 17 pieces of paper. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? Time. So first of all, a huge shout out to my good friend, the director of visual development, Andy Park, who was a huge part in creating Kang. But it actually takes a whole slew of artists to uh, design Kang and put him together. I will burn them out of time. So Andy pretty much, uh, he gets uh, the final say, but he also said that uh, Constantine Sikaris did the final concept do, uh, design for him, and Sammy Sheldon and Ivo Coveney did the final Kang design that we see uh, on the screen. You may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. Yeah, so, and I'm feeling it. It's a very, very complex character. Now, I'm going off a lot of the press photos uh, that I've seen. Um, at the premiere, they had a bunch of uh, Kang costumes there, and even though if you step back and you squint your eyes, it looks like Kang for the comics, and I think that's the look that they're going for. But the moment you get up close, you see all of these little intricate details and lines all over the outfit. Like there's lines everywhere, literally everywhere, like a circuit. So my goal is in 10 hours, and 10 hours to be honest is a lot of time, to draw one singular character. So I said, okay, for a character like Kang, might as well draw every line, every line I can, and then maybe add a few more, like, a, like in the boots as I draw it here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and draw the blast, okay? So he does this uh, blast that comes out of his hands and trying to figure out how to accomplish that in uh, drawing. So I'm doing a very Jim Lee-esque way of <laughs> drawing energy blasts coming from the hands. Uh, it's what I grew up with. This is how they used to do it in the old uh, Image Comics days. So I uh, wanted to make sure I tried to do that. So trying to finish that off and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and draw uh, the cape afterwards and the cape itself you know i want it to feel like it's it was flowing uh right behind him you know have a little bit more movement in the cape now looking at it um you know that that cloth in front of him that maybe that should be moving as well but yeah, things i could have done differently <laughs> for sure but uh, drawing the cape i also wanted to get all of those lines of the cape there were so so many lines uh in his in his outfit 
um, you know, uh, I wanted to make sure I got all of it because I, I had 10 hours to do it. Now, again, adding another uh, piece of energy blast uh, to the other side. I wasn't going to do that originally, but I thought uh, might as well match it together. So it came up to the about 8 hour mark and I, I was pretty comfortable with the character and I didn't know how much extra detail I could add to it uh, without adding color. So I decided to go in and draw a Quantum Realm background. Now this is fun. This was a lot of fun for me. I haven't drawn, to be honest I haven't drawn some backgrounds in a while. Uh, but I had two hours so I said might as well try to do a little background here. The Quantum Realm was a lot of fun. A lot of circles in here, a lot of uh, spherical shapes, you know, a lot of round things, and this reminds me of my uh, old uh, comic book days, I used to draw a comic that was very similar to this, so I want to add as many little buildings as I could, little details as I could as I was drawing this, so as I was coming down to the end of this drawing, you find that nine and a half hours, and especially when it's only one character, like I've done drawings where it's been over a hundred characters. I tried to attempt to draw a hundred characters in 24 hours, so there's always something new to draw. Here, when you get down to the last few minutes, you're just kind of finding things to draw. So extra lines, where can I add an extra line here and there and everywhere. So just adding some more darks, some more cracks, more texture, just as much as I could as we wind down. But overall, I had a lot of fun doing this, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Here it is. So I knew 10 hours, you know, I, I wanted to get the line work as detailed as possible. I think I really achieved that uh, with this particular piece here. And also knowing that I got a buddy Thomas who could color this way better than I could. So a shout out to my uh, brother Thomas who colored this piece. But overall, really, really happy with this piece. And hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Well, there you go. That is Kang in 10 hours. So again, I drew Kang for about eight hours, drew a background for two hours, and there you go. So I got my friend Thomas Mason to go ahead and color this thing. Felt sorry for him. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> for all his hard work, make sure you follow him at Mental Studios. Go watch Ant-Man and the Wasp and see if you like it for yourself. Hooray! Ant-Man! What's her name again? Mutant. Catherine Mutant. No. Huh? Catherine Mutant. New, new, Mutant? New. Catherine. Catherine. Catherine.